Okay. Batteries. Today we're going to be talking about batteries, in particular V-Log batteries. Since owning the Sony FS5, which uses uh, these tiny BPU batteries, these four of these will probably charge an FS5 and an Odyssey or even or even a FS7 for around eight to ten hours. I can pack around four of these in my backpack and the charger, and it takes no space. However, once I upgraded to the um, to the red system, I quickly figured out that to power this beast of a camera, it needed a lot of power. So yeah, these were the batteries that I used to power the camera. They're awesome, made by Anton Bauer. Great batteries, however, uh, to power the camera for around eight to 10 hours, I needed to have four of these, and I couldn't just carry these in a backpack because they're mahoosive. Uh, hence, I have to have them in a Pelican case uh, with a Trek pack and its massive charger, which mean, meant that I had to carry two bags. It just didn't work for me. So this is when I stumbled upon Bebop. Uh, they've been making, they're a company over in Germany. They've been manufacturing batteries for around 20 years for different t uh, TV productions worldwide. Uh, they make all different, all types of V-Log batteries, big ones, huge ones, but their, their new line um, called the V-Micro line are these right here. These are the tiniest of batteries. They're so small. This is what this is one of the, 50, the 45 watt. This is their uh, 98 watt, and you've got the 150 watt battery over here, which is awesome. So what I love about all these three batteries is that even though they have different capacities, their height and length are exactly the same. So if I just stack these together, look at that, they're exactly the same. So this essentially is the same height of the camera. When I put these inside my camera bag, they fit in perfectly and I can probably fit it. Let me just compare, look. This is one 150 watt and here I've got 150 plus 98 plus 45. Look at that, all that power, three batteries, one battery. Uh, the 45 watt is a tiny little battery, super portable. Um, I personally use this as an external battery bank to power my iPhone. Uh, because it has a USB here. And I also use it to charge my Fuji uh, X100F for those behind the scenes pictures. This is what I use, great battery. You can also use it to power like a mirrorless camera such as an A7S or GH5, uh, but you just need a DTAP to dummy battery and it'll probably charge that, I'm sorry, it'll probably power that camera for around, I don't know, a, few, a good few hours compared to its tiny small, ca uh, small battery like the A7S. Um, the 98, 98 watt battery uh, gives you around one hour of runtime, I guess, on the red camera. This is the red Gemini, so it'll give me around one hour of runtime on the red Gemini. Probably gives you around another hour on the Alexa Mini. Awesome battery. Again, super size, super small size, super compact. The footprint is just, oh, I love these little guys. And then we've got the largest of them all. This is the 150 watt hour. Um, you can use this to power, obviously, cameras, but you can also use it to power LED lights or monitors for longer periods of time. Um, this will probably power my red, I believe, for around an hour 45, maybe two hours. Again, great batteries, still super compact. If you just, if I could try and compare it, this is the Anton Bauer and this is the Bebop. So let's talk about the features. As mentioned earlier, one of my favorite features is that they all have the same height and same length. The only thing that changes is the depth. Uh, this makes it very easy to pack in your bag, pop it into different pockets when you're uh, on set and you're running, or sorry, you're on location and you give one to your assistant. Even though they have, even, even if they may not have a bag, they can pop this battery in the pocket. It actually does fit in the pocket. Back pocket. Learn to what battery? Boom. So, that's one of my favorite features, how compact and the foot, how tiny this footprint is of this uh, battery. So the second feature that I love is the twist D-tap. So essentially what this is, when you look at it, you think, oh, this is like a new D-tap connector, but it isn't. It basically is a twist D-tap. So whatever way you connect the D-tap power connection, it will just fit. Easy. So the next feature that I want to talk about is the USB. Uh, under this little latch over here, there's a USB out. So this is used to power Teradex, I think, like little Paralynx Teradex that use a USB power. Um, I even think the new Tilta Nucleus um, motor, Nucleus N or Nucleus Nano, um, that needs to be powered through USB. So this battery could power it. But I use it personally to charge my behind the scenes camera by plugging in a USB to uh, micro USB or charging my iPhone. After I've wrapped and my phone's running out of battery, Plug it in and off you go. On the side of the battery, there is a five LED indicator. So each LED uh, equates for 20% of the battery. And at the bottom here, you've got a 
power button where if you hold it down for five seconds, so one, two, three, four, five, this should change color and now blue. Well, that basically means that these batteries have the protocol of ARRI, Sony and RED embedded in there. So if I plug this into a Sony camera, I'll get a percentage uh, or an ARRI. But if I press it again, that should hopefully be on RED. So now if I plug this into my RED camera, I'll be able to get the time remaining or the percentage on the battery, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong, if say this was on blue and I plugged it into the RED, it would still work just fine. It'll still power a camera just fine. It will just give me the, it will show me the voltage instead of the percentage. Such a handy little feature. One of my other favorite features is Ta -da! it has a flashlight how cool is that ah this is awesome so I presume the main reason they've used this that they've, they've, they've added this into there is because say you're well for example for me I do a lot of concerts we're doing battery changes backstage we're super dark most some of the ACs have like headlights but no need for a headlight grab your battery double tap pop it in and there you go, you, see, you can see what you're doing. Another way I've used this is after I've wrapped and say we're de-rigging uh, and, it's, and it's dark at night, I just double tap and I can just grab all my stuff uh, from the bag easily. Awesome feature, they've thought about so many little things. It's just, it's just great and still we've got all these features in this tiny little compact battery. So yeah, just to show you, here's a, there's the flashlight as well. The next feature is not the most exciting one. It's, um, it's how quickly it charges. This 150 watt charges up to 80% of charge in like 45 minutes. Like that's amazing. They charge so quickly. Um, there is another company called Hawkwoods who make this tiny V-lock charger, mini V-lock charger for their mini V-locks. You know, I tried to use that charger to charge these batteries, but it took around four hours. So I think the Bebop charger is just charges way quicker. I think I said the word charge 20 times there, but anyway. Something I didn't know is that these batteries are rated for 1.5 meters of drop proof, essentially. I don't want to test that out. I'm not going to test that, but it's good to know that if I were to drop these batteries, the cells are nice, are protected, essentially, and I, don't, and I won't be scared of not using the battery again, of it blowing up or something. So that's very good to know. Thanks, Bebop. These batteries are travel friendly, so you can fly with Weave, weave. You can fly with up to, I believe it's up to 10 pieces. Depending on what airline, you're gonna to have to check with your airline provider. As far as I know, you can fly with around up to nine pieces of the 98 watts, and then you can fly with a maximum of two 150 watt hours per person. So if it's two of you, both of you can have two 150s and then up to nine batteries. And that's great because that means you can probably pack, you could probably pack around six of these in a, bat in, in a battery, in a bag and that will probably give you 600 watt, watt hours, which is, is a good five hours, six hours shooting, and say you're rotating and charging those up, great. That's a full day's shoot, just about. So yeah, that's, that's basically why I think these are amazing. <laughs> it sounded constipated then. Um, okay, let's move on. So of course, Bebop make great, uh, great batteries, but they also make different V micro plates, which have, uh, I believe some have extra Limo ports, different power outputs. They have um, USB out. They even made this, this power bar, which you can plug into the Twist D tap, and that gives you an, an additional three D taps out and, two, and loads of two pin Limos. That's great, they've thought about it all. That's just amazing, but, my favorite V micro plate that the Bebo have made is this one. Ta -da! The dual plate, dual hot swap plate. This is so, I was about to swear then, this is so good. Long story short, let me just show you. One battery, two batteries. It allows your cameras to have double the amount of power. So here right now I've got 150 watt battery plus 98. So this will probably power my camera for around three hours. I've got two twist D tabs here, another one on the top. And then say for example, the camera is running low and I've got all the accessories plugged in. I can easily just take that battery out, pop this one on charge, get the 98 one over here. And off you go. While still keeping everything powered on, this is just amazing because it saves time on set, especially if you have to power down the red. Uh, and then power it back up again. This all takes a good couple of minutes. So that means that all the accessories will be turned off. The director's monitor will be turned off and then the client starts to be like, oh, I can't see the image. Not to worry, let's get the dual plate on the go. Swap it out. <laughs> Boom, constant power all day. That's amazing. And this is the size of it. Tiny little plate. So you can just fit this in your camera bag alongside all your batteries. 
you pro here I've probably got around a full, over a full day of, of power. It's just awesome. They've literally thought about it all. So here we go. Let me just show you one more time. Bang, bang. This will be like the perfect travel solution and still keeps things pretty lightweight. Yes, it is a heavy camera, but Ah, it's a beautiful camera. If you do have any questions about the Red Gemini that you want me to talk about, let me know in the comment section below. So with all that said, it's incredible how much thought the guys over at Bebo have put into these batteries and their accessories. You know, they're a reputable company, so like I, I personally wouldn't want to buy third, par third party batteries where I don't know who's manufacturing them because I've seen these horrible videos uh, on the internet of Vlogs, you know, exploding. And, you know, I can put my heart on my money in these batteries and knowing that they will last me for years and years and years. And with that said as well, say you do use your batteries for years and years and years, or they start to lose their, their life essentially, the guys at Bebop will actually resell your batteries if you send them to the factory in Germany for half the price, which is just awesome. That's just great. Don't have to buy a new battery. They'll just change the cells inside. Just open it up, change the cells, pop the cap back in, here it is, off you go. Another few years, constant shooting. Okay, so if you'd like more information on these batteries, for example, prices, as far as I know, in the UK, you can buy these from CVP. They go for about, oh great, I forgot already. So, I believe you can get the 98 watt hour for around 271 pounds, which is priced pretty well. If you want more information, yeah, check out, check out the guys at Bebop on Instagram, on their Facebook. Uh, they've got loads of other products, you know, not just the Bebop micros and, and so many accessories. I'd like to know, you know, what batteries do you guys use? Let me know in the comment section below because there might be something that I don't know that you guys can teach me. I hope you really like this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, hit that red button, hit the little bell notification, just hit everything. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> and yeah, um, catch you in the next video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out my work on my website, www.stephanie.com. At Stephanie on Instagram, make sure to follow me. Um, okay, I'll stop with the plugs now. See you on the next one. Peace!